Hi everyone, I thought I'd come on and do a short video about why we even do embodiment and somatic practices. So soma in Greek means body and there's this idea of coming to the body, coming and connecting with the body and finding a wholeness within our body. So when it comes to embodiment and somatic practices, we move with our entire being. We take a moment to connect with all the different parts of our body and notice any differences, anything that feels heavier or lighter, maybe tense or actually quite soothed and released. By noticing what's going on in our body, we're also connecting with our nervous system and noticing what is happening for us. Are we feeling stressed? Are we feeling anxious? Or are we actually really calm? Now, embodiment and somatic practices are not only various kind of free movements, and when I offer the practice, I also add in yoga poses, which are restorative and soothing and releasing, but they are not only kind of very focused practices, but also free movement. Free movement so that we can really check in with our bodies, that we can express ourselves in a way that feels organic. Now, why do we do this? So there's a lot of science behind this and a lot of research. So somatic and embodiment practices allow us to come into the parasympathetic nervous system. Now there is the sympathetic and the parasympathetic nervous system. It's important to know the difference. Have you ever heard of fight, flight, freeze? So when we are in the sympathetic nervous system, that's where our body is being reactive. Our nervous system, our brain is reacting because it feels like it's under threat. And we can feel this in our body through tension, maybe your heartbeat uh, elevates, maybe you have sweaty palms or tense shoulders, or you just generally don't feel very safe. And we feel that in our body. When it comes to the parasympathetic nervous system, this is where we rest and digest. It's where we experience our mindful moments, where the body feels balanced and soothed and calm. And that's our intention for the body to feel soothed and calm. Now, throughout the day, we fluctuate between um, all these different uh, senses and it's healthy to be aware of threat and be able to react to threat. But it's also important that we can find balance and feel safe enough in our bodies, in our nervous system, in our hearts, in our minds, in our souls, so that we can find that place of calm, that we can re-regulate. So that's what embodiment and somatic practices are all about. Coming back to the body, reconnecting with the body, understanding what our body is telling us, because it's talking to us all the time. And when we start to understand our body and we learn new practices that let us regulate, that's when the magic happens. So for example, when I'm feeling anxious or stressed and I can feel my heart racing, my shoulders tensing, um, I get a dry mouth, then for me it helps to jump around, shake, move, release that emotion because the body holds on to those emotions. And we want to embody actually emotions and feelings that give us energy, not ones that take energy. So again, our aim is always to come into that parasympathetic nervous system. So there we go. That's a little bit of information about why we do embodiment and somatic practices. So if you're experiencing stress in your life, anxiety, pressure, pressure of being a mum, a parent, um, a work colleague, a manager, uh, a woman, a man, whatever, then perhaps it's time to start listening to your body and reconnecting with your body and finding ways where you can actually regulate, where you can take back control, where you can come home to your body. Thanks for listening. Wishing you a beautiful, beautiful morning, afternoon or night. Take care.